I'm planning to meet Kevin in February. I'm counting down the months to that time. I asked her why February, and she said, well, because that's tax return time, and I'm entitled to half of your tax return. That way I can get to Africa and I can have money for a ticket for him to come back. Initially, I would go to Kenya without my children to be with Kevin, but I don't think we'll stay in Kenya, so we'll return. I'd like joint custody with the children, but I know they have a life here. Sarah even told me that she would like to still stay married to me, but also marry him. She's crazy if she thinks that's gonna ever happen. My dream for Kevin and I is to build homes here and in Kenya. We'd have maybe even dual citizenship. It's expensive to travel, but we'll be patient. I've told Sarah that Kevin's just using her to get into the United States. She told me, she said, well, if that's the case, I just learned a lesson and then come crawling back to you. I know you'll take me back. My hope is that Kevin and I will live together happily ever after. We kind of made a list of your plan as you laid it out to us. Divorce Keith. Initially, the kids stay in America, potentially bring them to Kenya later. Uh, February of 2018, buy a ticket to Kenya with tax return uh, and marry Kevin and stay in Kenya for three to four weeks. Have 50-50 custody arrangement with the four children with you, and then bring Kevin back to the U.S., set up home here, apply for dual citizenship, and spend part of the year in Kenya and part of the year in the U.S. And in Kenya, live in the house that Kevin is going to build for you on his farm, right? Right. Uh, run the orphanage with Kevin, and according to Keith, if it's a scam, she'll just go back to you, right? That's what she said. Why do you think he's interested in you in particular? Hopefully, because he loves me. And you're 44, mm -hmm. and he's 26, or 20, or 22, or 3, or 4. We don't know. So you're certainly old enough to be his mother. Right? Sure. We are driving through the town of Kisi, Kenya. It's about a six-hour drive from Nairobi. I've spoken to Kevin on the phone. He gave me directions where to meet him. He described to me how to get there. It's a very rural part of the country, so there are no addresses. I think this is where he told us to come. That's Kevin. Well, as you saw, we found Kevin in the tiny village of Ogimbo, located in Kissy County, Kenya. So let's take a look. Sarah is a wonderful lady. I love her so much. She's kind, honest, faithful, beautiful, attractive. She always speaks sweet words to me. What are you doing now? Remember to take your breakfast, you know? I do FaceTime with Sarah more than five times a day. I can sex chat with her. I do text her good words, sweet words. Sarah told me that she's married, but she had already said it to the force. I want to go to the US because that's where Sarah is. I want to marry her. I can be a citizen of Kenya and US. About Sarah's children, I am ready to take them because I love Sarah. Also, I love the kids. I do even talk with the kids. So I like their voices. Uh, we do, we make funny with the kids. I am running an orphanage of that one kids. I started the orphanage because I have a good heart. When I see children suffering, you know, on the streets, so I feel like I am the one suffering. So that's why I tell to take care of those children, give them love. <laughs> My future plans with Sarah is we want to be great farmers and want to care for these kids. When I meet the harvest face, I will just hold her, hug her, then I will say, welcome, my love. My love to Sarah it cannot be measured. It's unconditional and long-lasting, forever and forever. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.